Welcome to this sport here for MRC here in Silverstone. Tonight it's me and Baby Hornet on comms, who's doing driver comms, so we'll see if he can uh, keep his composure while he's driving. No promises. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I, I quite enjoy driver comms, to be fair. It's, it's definitely a risk. We'll, we'll put it that way. But you know what? It's a fun risk, so it is what it is. Yeah, we're getting close to the watershed. It's good enough for me. Exactly. With an array of reserves in again tonight. We've got Anton. we got Airways. We have Baby Hornet himself. Yeah. Bergen. Kiza. I think that's it for reserves. So it's MRCX 3.0 today. Pretty much. Who is going to give us... We've already had MRCX 2.0 in Tier 3. We've got Airways that's already retired because he can't set a lap. And I think David is going to be our first flying lap in the Haas. Found him. There we are. Here we go, coming out of the final corner. Looking pretty planted so far. At least these boys have got a nice uh, dry qualifying, unlike the qualifying in the comp tier, which was uh, a disgusting. bit damp. Full wet, horrible, disgusting. It was definitely uh, fun trying to find the balance between the, uh, <laughs> the wet and <laughs> the dries. Look, if that's what you call fun, mate, oh my goodness. It's fun out of bun. That's a good first sector from David, to be fair. Yeah, doesn't like he's pushing crazy hard. Nice little uh, easy banker lap here. A little bit wide through left field. It gets on the power very nicely, to be fair. I said that has to look pretty well planted. It does. Nice through cops. Carried some decent speed through Magnuson Beckett, to be fair. I mean, I love how his dash says he's got the pit, pit limiter on. Yep. <laughs> nice. And uh, there's the message from Chaos Driven. I'm 100% going to watch you in uh, Curse You tonight now. You've just asked for it. We. This looks like this could be a pretty rapid lap from David, to be fair. It's going to be a good one, especially with the uh, tracks not as fully gripped up as it could be. 27.4, not bad at all for a banker. That is a strong banker, that. We're going to put it to the test. Here comes the McLaren of Adamski. 29.6. Definitely got some time to find. Who else have we got on a lap? We've got Burnsy Baby, who is invalidated. Shaver M did a 29.8. We've got Spivey in the Alpine. If anybody wants My a blue and pink tonight. tractor. Honestly, with my setup, I am a bit of a tractor. Oh, Mudsnuts with a 27.3. Oh, very nice. Found half a tenth. Wonder where this is. Looking like another solid lap from Spivey here. It's looking pretty decent, isn't it? One, not bad at all. And Prezzo, 27-0. Now opens that gap to the pole by three tenths. Very nice. Who else have we got here? We'll go back with Bernsey Baby and the Williams. Very planted to be fair in the Williams. Winky's just about to finish a lap now. Coming through the final chicane. It's looking like it'll be an alright lap. 28-2, not bad at all for me. Another good banker. Yeah, exactly. Especially with the uh, track still needing rubbering in. Quite good to see so and many fast laps. It's very chilly today. 
Burnsby Abbey puts it in fifth with a 27-7. Very nice lap. Uh, just because he asked for it, we'll ride on board with Chaos Druid in the other Williams. Did he ask for it? Yeah, I think so. Or are you just being mean? He said, don't jinx me, so we have to watch him. <laughs> so yeah, you're being mean. Them's the, them's the rules. Oh, okay. As long as we know the rules, it's fine. Here we go as he's starting his lap. Flat out through turn one and two. Looking nice and planted through turn three. Very stable to be fair. No little kicks or anything on the way out of four. Sandball up to P9 with a 28-2. I mean, the game says that uh, Chaos Drew has done a purple sex, but I'm not quite sure how much I trust it. Uh, can confirm from my timing screen he unfortunately has not. Well, that honestly doesn't surprise me with this game. Well, I tell you what, he's catching the other Williams. Are they going to play the team game, and is he going to get a toe? Could be. Coming through Maggots and Beckett's now. Ah, oh, no, no, his teammate moves out, out of the way. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought they could have played a good team game. That would have given him a massive boost. Wouldn't it? Coming into the final chicane. Keeping it nice and tidy through the final corner. 27, 28.6. That's not a bad little lap. Well, pretty good bankers early on. Who else have we got on a lap? We've got Shave Rem in the Alpha Mail. It's going to be so sad to see the Alpha die. I know, and get that horrible green thing. Yeah, we've got to go to kick the team that can't do a pit stop. Mind you, Salva can't do a pit stop as Alfa Romeo, to be fair. Not sure if he's run out of fuel or something. Stopped into the first corner. With a 29.1, Shave Rem still currently in 12th. Let's see up the top. Ghost Riders just put in a 27.3. That's a very nice lap from Ghost Rider. He's just got some very fancy new pedals, so he's uh, clearly feeling the effect of them. I mean, to be fair, you've got to admit sometimes that like a new set of pedals, uh, especially if you go for the fancy ones like the load cell ones, it makes such a big difference. It really does. He's gone and get, got himself some uh, Fanatec pedals, so he'll probably be feeling a big difference there. <laughs> Fancy. Ah, and he runs really wide. Good pedals. Good pedals not going to save you from that. No, unfortunately not. You've got Berg on an outlap yeah, gonna... with uh, some wets. <laughs> oh, I need to put my setup on. That would help, wouldn't it? That would help, Simon, yes. Don't yeah, do a me. Hard tyres, and let's go. In the French wee wee baguette. And that is Ghost Rider into the pits. Let's see who is on our lap right now. Chaos Druid, not improving, but just doing laps for some reason. Bergen's been disqualified. Right on board with Jamer. He's just had a pretty good race in the uh, comp tier race, so he's got his practice in. He had a very good race in comp, to be fair. I think he finished sixth overall in the comp tier. Yeah. That's a man who really puts the work in and reserves for as many tiers as possible. We love that. And the fact he did take the win in Azerbaijan for the comp tier. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's got really good pace, to be fair. See what qualifying pace he's got in the Haas. Oh, 
If I wasn't watching this, Simon, you know 100% I'd be on board with you right now. Oh, I know. I'm only on an outlap. It's fine. And I've got to do a warm-up lap, yeah. Oh, I cannot take maggots and beckets the same as I can on softs. 27-7 for Jamo through the first sector. It's not too bad. Well, and he invalidates. That's unfortunate. Let's Aww. see who else is on a hot lap. I think Flix Hurty's on a hot lap. Yeah, he's five tenths up. Zooming past me. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Let's see if the Delta it gave me was right. And if he is five tenths up. And he did a 27.7, which puts him in eighth. Nice. Not a bad little lap. Let's see who else we got. Mutz Nuts, I think, is also on a lap. It says he's six and a half tenths up. This could be pole. Oh, nice. Oh, sorry, provisional pole. Oh, 26.7. Very nice lap from Mutz Nuts. My gosh. Aston Martin absolutely flying. I can't watch all your laps, Chaos Druid. I can't jinx every single one. As tempting as it is. It would be really fun. Who else have we got on a lap right now? I think we have Spivey on another lap in the Alpine. Coming through Maggots and Beckets. Currently, nearly two seconds down in this time, apparently. Oh. Didn't look like that was a bad sector time, though, so I don't know whether it's the game just playing tricks on me. Nope, straight into the pits. We'll Ooh. go with Von Winkle. He's 300 down through the first sector. You're making this sound like a good lap, Simon. We had a small kick. I didn't actually know that, but the 126 for, from Nuts Nuts would have put him in the top six in the expert tier, apparently. Oh my gosh, wow. What a lap from Nuts Nuts. Missed the sector time from Winky into sector three, but still looks like a pretty good time. As he does. Uh, 127.8 puts him up to ninth place. I think I've seen David on a lap as well in the Haas. 200ths up through the first. to eighth place that's not a bad time that's not bad for hards i'll take that this is looking like a good lap for david here and he's run wide i don't know how that hasn't invalidated but he's kept going so oh no he invalidated coming out of the final chicane that is so unlucky there oh no Let's see who else we've got here. We've got Samuel and Lock, who's apparently four tenths up, coming out of sector one. Oh, no, he's not even finished sector one. Why is this game lying to me? Definitely not on a push lap there. We'll go on board with Smoggy Ghost. I don't think we've ridden on board with the Red Bull yet.
So I've got a lot of really uh, well planted cars around here at the minute. Doesn't like anybody's yeah. ran silly little wings like we've seen in some of the other tiers. Or especially in MRCX. It to be fairly sensible. Nope, Smokey goes two and a half seconds down through sector one. Who else have we got on a lap currently? Go on board with the Damski. Had some really good qualifying performances recently and some unlucky moments in the race. He is currently five tenths down through the first sector, which is going to be tough to claw back through the rest of the lap. Yeah. Mutznut's not feeling secure on pole position there, so he's coming out for another attempt. I mean, this track is a track that rubbers up a lot towards the end of quali, so it's better to give your chance to another lap. Yeah, we got Prezzo as well on a lap. Let's see if he's going to improve to try and take Paul away from Mutznuts. Oh, a tenth down through the first. Going to be a close one. Ghost Rider taking provisional pole with a 26.722. Oh, that is tight. Yeah, it's a 300s improvement on Mutz Nuts, who is about to do another lap as well, so he's probably a right front to go out. Prezzo is coming to the end of Sector 2 through Maggots and Beckett's. Has he managed to claw any time back? Oh, just a tenth up now. I think Flick is about to improve his lap. See where he's going to jump up currently in 10th. He, he comes up. It's a good jump that 27.1. That's a huge lap. Not quite sure what was going on in the pits there as uh, Prez almost goes into the back of Anton, I think that was. Ooh. Apparently Mutz Nuts is 6 tenths up. I mean, that would be impressive since he's not finished the first sector yet, but we all ride on board with the Aston Martin. Ooh, a hundredth down through the first sector. This is going to be tight. He's going to find three hundredths from somewhere. It's a shame his teammates behind him, because else he could have done with a good toe right now. Yeah. <laughs> Flying through cups. That looked very tidy through cups, to be fair. Looking like a pretty solid lap so far. Ooh, Ooh still a hundredth down. Can he find anything in sector three? Very nice through Stowe. Oh, he backs out. Hi, Ant. And I think that is pretty much our grid set for tonight now. Yeah. Apart from Chaos Druid, who is... No, he's pulling to the pits as well. Jameis... In the pits. There we go. Everybody's in. So, for tonight's grid, we have Ghost Rider and the Ferrari with Mutz Nuts and the Aston and Prezzo taking the third on the grid in the McLaren. And uh, just a reminder in the comments there, obviously, to so follow the new reserve rules that we've got about doing the extra pit stop on the final lap to let everybody in the actual uh, tier take the flag. We will got Flix Herty in fourth in the Aston, Burnsy Baby takes fifth, David in sixth, Adamski in seventh, Jamer in eighth, Chaos Druid in ninth, Baby Hornet takes tenth on hards, which is quite an impressive lap to be fair. Uh, his teammate Spivey in 11th with an identical time, as I've just noticed. Uh, oh, yeah. Sambel in 12th, Winky in 13th, Smoggy goes 14th, Shaver in 15th, Carl is in 16th, Kaiser Sozi 17th, Airways 18th, Anton is in 19th, and Bergen is in 20th. It's going to be a very interesting race. I'm guessing it's going to be dry, or I imagine you would have said something by now. 
Um, yeah, I assume so. What do you mean you assume so? I'm not going to lie to you, Stoob. Um, I put my setup on. It was dry outside, so I drove out. I did not even look ahead to the race. <sighs> I mean, it's lucky pretty cloudy at the end of qualifying, so I mean, we'll, we might get a good surprise for some wet weather, but with those times that have been set, I'd like to imagine that people have dry setups on. I would hope so. I mean, if it's wet and they've got that sort of speed, then I might be in a pickle here if it's wet. That's right, your car was a tractor anyway. Thanks. <laughs> I still won though, didn't I? Yeah. So I almost got screwed over by the safety car. I spun on lap one. Don't even start to me. I'll start to you all I want. Wow. Well, at least it looks absolutely glorious, to be fair. It's sunny! Woohoo! Don't forget to not ready up straight away and we will have the few minutes gap for people. Right. That's my strategy. That's my fuel strategy. Cool. So yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting race. I mean, the uh, CompTIA race was a lot more interesting than I was expecting. Not as uh, chaotic as some of the recent races have been, so that was quite nice. Yeah, exactly. It was, uh, it was a nice race. I mean, I didn't see a lot of chaotic driving, which was very nice. I saw some chaotic driving, but at least we didn't have... Uh, MRCX level of chaotic driving and five safety cars. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so stressful, that race, for the first, like, ten laps. Oh yeah, it was insane. You'd get going and you'd be like, yeah, I'm getting into a rhythm now. Oh, no, safety car, never mind. <laughs> I don't think I got a lap of DRS and the MRCX race until about lap 20-something. Yeah, I know, it was ridiculous. But at least there's a limited number of safety cars per race. At a certain point, you just have to drive. So who's your uh, favourite for the win today, Stu? I mean, Ghost Rider and Mutznuts looks like they're going to be uh, trading some lap times for the win. Uh, hopefully they've not just got like a qualifying yep. setup, or else it's going to be a, a long old 26 laps for them. But Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the guys in the top five have put some good performances in recently, so I think it's going to be a tough one to call yeah. until the you get through I the first lap and all the that chaos cells. Here, you need high downforce. I'm sorry, not high, but you need wings around here because maggots and beckets and things like that are impossible if your wings are too low. I mean, people have been proven time and time again, apparently, that you don't need wings around here, which is quite confusing because to take cops flat out, I thought you'd you'd need more wings than I ran just so. Yeah, I mean, I can take fl cops flat out pretty comfortably with my wings, and I'm not exactly running low wings. I can say, I think for the race just around 29, 22. I'm 30, 24, so you're not that much quicker than me. In a you, line. Yeah, that's right, Sam, and you are 30. No, I'm not. I am 29. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and I've got a year to go yet. No, you don't. <laughs> Yes, I do. No, you don't. <laughs> don't you start with me. Oh, nah, uh, dear. Nah, uh, uh. That's what you think. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me that I just forgot how to count. Wouldn't surprise the rest of us either. Listen, I did not come here to be abused. Well, you should have just assumed it was going to happen. I should have, yeah. See, even in the comments, everybody knows it's technically less than a year now to your next birthday, so there you go. You oh, basically. I'm sorry, it's like 354 days. You're basically, basically nearly 30 now. No, you can call me basically 30 when it gets to 2025. Nope, you're basically 30 now, Simon, just face it. I forgot. I also forgot what time we started this loading screen, so. 
I mean, if everybody's back in the seats and ready to rock and roll, then somebody press that go button. No, we wait for the go from Winkles McGuffin. Nobody listens to Winkles. No, I know, but we're supposed to. It's hard to take him seriously from all the way down there. <laughs> oh, there we go. We're readying up. See? Boom. Okay. Tires are correct. Fuel is correct. Simon cries. Here we go. Let's see how many people are actually going to make it through turn one. I've got to drive with the arguably the worst sounding engine on this game. It, it's not arguably, it is the worst sounding engine. Yeah, I'm driving a leaf blower. And also the worst engine in real life. This is true, they are appalling this year. Uh, do 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 do. Get some tyres on. So we've got a bit of a spread through tyres through the entire grid, to be fair. Ghost Rider on hards, Mutz Nuts down to David on mediums, Adamski hards, Jamer on mediums, Chaos Druid hards, Baby Hornet down to Shaver M on mediums, Carl and Kaiser on hards, Airways mediums, Anton on softs, and Bergen, who's been disqualified again, is on hards. Mergen seems to like getting disqualified in lower tiers. That's what I've noticed. Maybe he just likes the challenge of starting on the Ooh. grid with cold tires. Yeah, maybe. Nothing happened. It's fine. There we go. Most of the grid opting for the median tire for the start, which I don't really blame them because it's definitely the tire I prefer off the start. Yeah, no, it's definitely the better race tire to start on. It gives you options if there's an early safety car. Not early, early, but you know. I don't know. We've had some early safety cars recently. <laughs> We've had some very early safety cars recently. Oh my gosh, stay on the track, Simon. Good grief. I didn't know you knew how to stay on the track. Well, apparently I don't. I knew it. I'm focusing so hard on my tyre warm-up that I'm just reinventing Silverstone. Oh yeah, eSports, it must be so difficult. You know how difficult it is, Sharp. I mean, I didn't go off track when I was doing my warm-up map, so... I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Here's the issue. I broke really hard and had my throttle on full because, you know, that's what you do. And then Chaos Druid suddenly drove away, so instead of being sensible about it, I just pulled my brake off. And my Who... car didn't appreciate it. Whose fault's that then? I'm not blaming anyone else, I'm just saying that's what happened. That was, that was a good viewpoint then of the Aston Martin's front wing, and all I could think of was carbon fiber! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Let's see how many people. Oh, Burnsy Baby can't park, Prezzo can't park. Doom well so far. <laughs> I can yeah. park, we're fine. We've done well. Everybody else seems to have managed to hit the grid box. Two, three, four, five. Hey, away we go. Ghost Rider gets a really good start. Mutz Nuts, is he going to look up the inside? Doesn't look like he's going to be brave enough. Prezzo makes a move. Puts the Aston Martin to fight together. Oh, and Flex Hurties hits Mutz Nuts. Oh, I think he's managed to keep it just. David and Bernsey get past the other Aston Ooh. Martin. Chaos Druid in the mix. It looks like it's been an absolute fight. It got a bit chaotic in that corner, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it looked like a bit of a mess. We've got people off the track all over the place. I think that one of the Alfa Romeos is somewhere in the crowd on the left there. I think that is Bergen. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping we've calmed down a bit now so I can catch up a bit where everybody is. I'm trying to give Chaos Druid the place back without holding literally everyone up. And it's given a suggestion for the tyres. Everybody knows the strategies. Me saying anything isn't going to help people right now. However, Prezzo is catching Ghost Rider. The gap is now two and a half tenths. 
and closing onto the straight. The slipstream pretty strong for Prezzo there. Oh. You were going to say a naughty word then, weren't you? No. Virtual safety car. <laughs> safety car number one. Okay, that was a. Uh... That happened. I don't even want to know what you've done. There was a little bumping. Was it Von Winkle? You can tell me. No, it wasn't Winky, to be fair. I'll just blame Winkle anyway. Oh, I would. Jamie in the pits. Things. Not quite sure if he has any damage. Is he going to get a new front wing? Oh, quite a few people in the pits, to be fair. I thought that was a full safety. I didn't even acknowledge yeah. that that was a virtue. A new... And, yeah, unfortunately, I think all the people in the pits have lost out massively. As Prezzo and Ghost Rider are still fighting, as it gets a bit dicey between them there. Prezzo up the inside oh, on the run down. Side by side. Oh, giving each other plenty of room there. As we've got a couple of time penalties for Burnsy Baby now. And I think Airways is the other one with the three seconds. Prezzo is now the leader. Ghost Rider getting a good tow. Doesn't look quite like he's going to be able to make a move around the outside, but he goes for it anyway. Can he keep it on the track? Just about. And now he's only got the inside line down to the chicane. Just leaving each other enough room here. It's getting pretty dicey here between the McLaren and the Ferrari. They're both helping David in the has to catch them though. DRS as well now. Prezzo is not going to be very happy up front and in the with no DRS in front of these two. David going to make a move? Don't think so. But it's getting pretty close with less than a tenth separating them now. Looks like a bit of contact but also a bit of glitching between the Haas and the Ferrari. I'm afraid I have very little to comment on at this point because I'm just kind of running my own race right now. You enjoy that. Looks like Adamski's going to be there soon to, to come keep you company. He's hanging on to the back of me for the moment. We'll have a quick look at the tyres. So the bottom five looks like they all came to the pits for hards and mediums. Anton is the only person on softs as it stands. But knowing him, they'll probably go to the end of the race now. Yeah, to be fair. Ghost Rider is now the leader of the race, making it past Prezzo. Imagine the DRS probably helped a lot with that pass. Yeah, I think it probably did, to be fair. Burnsy Baby is catching the back of David though. It's Ant and Carl getting a bit tangled down the bottom for 12th place. Mutt's not set in the fastest lap with a 31.4. Oh, look at you doing a 30.4 for a fastest lap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Getting pretty close for first place again. These two just will not give each other any space. A tenth and a half separate Ghost Rider and Prezzo as we come through the hairpin. Not sure if there was a bit of contact there or a bit of oversteer for Ghost Rider. But the more these two fight, it's just cost them so much time to the three behind, which are only tenths off. Flex 30 makes it past Sambal. And Airway sets the new fastest lap. Airway's demolishing my fastest lap by three tenths. Prezzo two tenths, back wing open. Tenth and a half, tenth, and it's... Oh, it's going to get close into the braking zone though. No, he's made it through in the McLaren. It was close. 
Looks like Samba losing a few places there down the straight. Down to eighth place. Tell you what, we have a yellow really good pace. for Jamo. I think the tops are going to settle down. Birdsea Baby is the next closest battle for third place. Anton doing a 30.0. Oh my gosh. The tire whisperer showing his pace. Sambal's coming back at Kisa. It's mental. These top five are all in DRS range of each other. Down. <laughs> then it's just a four and a half second gap back to Flux 30. I thought Bernty and uh, David were going to go side by side through Stowe then. Oh, Cops, sorry. Oh, just reinvented the track. It's fine. Nothing new there. It should be a nice, easy DRS pass for the Williams. But it looks like David has also got DRS, so they're just side by side. And then Aston Martin's looking at getting involved as well. Oh, we backed out just in time there for Mutz Nuts. <laughs> Davey gets a three second penalty. It is very easy to do around here. I think these uh top five are starting to settle down just a little bit can confirm that Sambal has really low wings everybody likes low wings at the minute for some reason I don't I can barely keep it on the track with high wings yeah we know oh that oh my gosh look at him go We're riding on board with Sambal as he makes the pass Bit of DRS was definitely helping him along there. Oh, I'm so wide in left field. Here comes Kiza Sozi as well, sizing up the Alpine. Do you know, what? I think the slipstream's just super overpowered through here because now I'm behind Sam Bal, I'm keeping up with him. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem quite as good as it did back when we were in Japan. The no, slipstream was there disgusting. was, uh, it was basically like an extra DRS. Yeah, literally. Mutz Nuts gets past David for fourth place and looks like they're trading places. We'll ride back, ride back on board with us, Bal for fourth place. As David comes in for a pit stop. That's uh, pretty early. Ooh. Especially seeing this is on mediums. So I was expecting him to go to maybe lap 10 to 12, so. Unless he's got a bit of wing damage. Well, that promotes Thank quite you. a few drivers. Who have we got for our next battle? Ooh. Let's ride on board with Simon while he makes mistakes. Oh! That, that was a good save, <laughs> I'll give you that. Ah! I'm round! I can see! <laughs> okay! Here we go! Yeah, Birkin did a 29.9 on mediums. Oh, that's filthy. Who have we got for our next closest battle? Ghost Rider's closing this gap back down up at the front, down to four tenths between him and Prezzo. They're both on the same tyre. Oh, no, Ghost Rider on the hards, Prezzo on the medium, so unless the medium's starting to grain a little bit. I uh, can confirm that they definitely are. We'll explain this gap coming down now then. David went for the hards. He's definitely going to need another pit stop before the end, I think. Those hards will be a bit... Uh, um, a bit touch and go, I think, towards the end. They'll be a little bit tight by the end, but I think he can take them to the end. I mean, we're talking like 19, 20 laps on a set of hards. So I'm pretty sure the lifespan is 18 laps. Ah, you can take them further. 
I mean, you can't even drive at the minute with those mediums, so I'm not quite sure. Yes. You're in a position to talk. I can drive with mediums. It's Jamie with a three-second penalty as well. He's having a really bad race compared to the Compte race. Yeah. He absolutely smashed it in Comp. He's currently sat down in 17th. Definitely not reflecting the pace he's just had. I think the tyres are coming slightly back to Presnell. They got back up to nearly eight tenths. Ooh. Yeah, I just looked at my tyre away. Eee. It's just better if you don't look. Yeah, just ignore it. They either work or they don't. It is what it is. Ghost Rider running a bit wide out of cops. Gap down to three and a half tenths. Is he going to get the run down the straight? Not sure he's going to be close enough. Looking around the outside. Ooh, getting a bit close between the two again. This must be taking everything out of their tyres now. Oh, yeah. Oh, three they, seconds. They've pretty much done eight laps of solid fighting. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. And now here comes Burnsy Baby back onto the, uh, the DRS range of Ghost Rider as well in third place. I mean, as it stands, Ghost Rider will probably take the lead in the next few laps when uh, Prezzo and Burnsy Baby go into the pits. Yeah. But he's done well on those hearts to, to keep in touch with them. Okay, I'm not I mean, sure if he's they're... using the hards well, then that's at least playing into his strategy, because the overcut is quite powerful here, actually. Yeah, I'm not quite sure the delta's that much different between the hards and the mediums here, but it's still quite impressive <laughs> to see him keep pace with the mediums at the minute. I think it's about half a second. Maybe slightly less. Gap up to seven tenths as we come through Maggots and Beckett's now. I think Ghost Rider's probably going to have to look to defend more than attack Prezzo this time. Both of them have got DRS. Who's got the lower wings? Oh, Burnsy Baby closing the gap ever so slightly, but not enough to make a lunge, I don't think. Next person to make a move will be Kaiser Soze, taking the place away from Spivey. It's also nice that we haven't had a full safety car yet, and it's lap nine. Great, I mean, that's a surprise more than anything. Adamski and Sambal trade in places as well. Burnsy in the Williams definitely uh, starting to try and line up a move now on Ghost Rider. I can see there's a lot of people very close together ahead of me. Yeah, for you that is Spivey down to Carl. All yeah. within DRS range of each other. We're talking Spivey, Sambal, Anton, Adamski, and Bit. Yeah, Bit being one of the people who went for the hards at the start, which is an interesting strategy, but we'll see if he pulls off. I mean, it's playing pretty well for everybody that is on hards. Nobody seems to be getting dropped. No, to be fair, they're having a good start on the hards. As Carl makes it past Adamski. Gadamski? Yeah, Gadamski. <laughs> you should it, you. Why don't you make me? Don't make me come down there. Oh, I'll come down here. Go on. That place where people talk funny. Don't make me say it. Which one? The longest place name. I mean, you go for it. I know I can't say it, so... <laughs> Ooh, it looked like there was a bit of wheel banging between Burnsy and Ghost Rider as he goes up the inside. 
making that play stick in the Williams. I think the problem here is with all these DRS trains, the minute you drop outside of that DRS range, you just get absolutely left for dead. Uh, can confirm, yes. Any time I make back in the corners, it's just gone down a straight. Because Sam has got a brand new combine harvester. I'll give you a... So here we come on to lap 12. I think this is the default pit strategy for everybody on mediums. So hopefully this will be a bit of a clean air. Quite a few people in the pits now. We've got Flexity, Anton and Samba all taking the pits now. Winky as well, and I think David is David in the pits. No, I think he's just just in that pack there. No, he's coming back through. He's got five laps on those hards. Yeah, he's closing the gap to me pretty significantly. Yeah, I imagine your tyres are pretty dead now, Simon. Do you know what? They actually feel okay right now. I'm thinking about extending. Wait to see what the top two do. Ghost Rider dropping back a little bit, still in DRS. Bernsey baby flying at the minute, got the gap down to four tenths to Prezzo. Pretty sure that's a restaurant, isn't it? I don't know. Well, Prezzo in the Prezzo in the pits, and Bernsey baby staying out. I think Prezzo is a... it might be a restaurant, some like Pretty sure it's an Italian restaurant. I'll take your word for it. Adamski with a three second penalty. Hey, what, Bernsey Baby managing to just get Ghost Rider out of his DRS. All those hard runners that have done their long stints now just moving up the pack. For our closest battle, watch uh, Anton Bully Bergen. That's always fun. Fresh hard tyres versus 11 lap old mediums. So David picks up another penalty. Oh, that's unfortunate. Good to see the pack slightly spread out a bit now. It's been so bunched up for the past 12 laps. Yeah, everyone's got a bit of breathing room now. Yeah, I think it's now time for people on the Ghost Rider coming. That is earlier than I was expecting. Obviously not feeling confidence on the hards now while uh, Burnty Baby's pulling away. I think Burnty Baby's actually stayed out as well. Yeah, he's gone for 14 laps on those mediums now. Same. Definitely not looking uh, quite as comfortable there, so he gets a little bit twitch out of the chicane in sector one. And now he's got back to the nearest hard runner is Carl, and that's 13.2 seconds, so... I think no matter what he does now, he's going to drop him back into some sort of traffic. He might be alright, because um, the next person who pitted is Prieto, who's three seconds behind me. 
See what Pretzel's actually uh, done really well under the pit stops here. So with Ghost Rider's pit stop now done, the gap is now 3.6 seconds between Ghost Rider and Prezzo. As I said, the overcut is super powerful here. Or undercut, rather. Whichever. Yeah, it's definitely an undercut for that one. As Burnsy Baby comes into the pits. And that makes Carl our current race leader. About the closest that Alpha Tauri will come to leading a race anytime soon. Yeah, they're not having a great season either, bless them. No, their uh, star signing's not doing so great then. No. As that brings out Burnsy Baby out behind Adamski. And just behind you. Yeah. And I Prezzo. I must feel fine, to be fair. He got out just in front of Ghost Rider, so it's put him pretty much back to where he was, but three, uh, just under three seconds behind Prezzo, so I think Prezzo's pulled off the best strategy here. I think he has, to be fair. He will be our net race leader after the pit stop of the top three. We've got Ghost Rider and David is probably our current closest fight. I just looked at my tyre wear. Oh my gosh. It's probably time to pit now, Sam, and I'm not going to lie. Unless you're trying to like push for a soft stint now. It's, uh, yeah, I think you're pushing your luck. Is she going to get to five seconds for speeding in the pits? I'm actually having a great time here. Somehow, I just don't think that's true. Because despite the wear, they just don't feel that bad. You have to come in at some point. I do have to come in at some point. Prezzo is closing that oh. gap down to you. As I get another three seconds. Got Burnty Baby and Ghost Rider fighting for position here. Fresh oh. hearts versus fresh mediums. Hello, Prietto. Oh my gosh. Prieto's done really well to be fair he's opened that gap back up to three and a half seconds to Burnsy Baby and Ghost Rider while they're fighting ooh hello I see your tyres have finally caught up to you <laughs> yeah we're braking early we're applying the throttle carefully because my front left is currently 76% nice so it's exciting you know I'm not quite sure why you're still on track <laughs> on those mediums. Because it's hilarious. Just like your face. See, where was the need? There was every need. There was no need. This has been a heroic medium thing. Yep, I'm just waiting to see where you come out after your pit stop because it's going to be quite far down this order. Oh, I'm predicting P18, yeah. Like, everybody behind you is, like, a second or so away from each other. All the way down to 11th place. Oh, yeah, no, I'm predicting that I'll be more or less last. But that was a fun little stint, to be fair. I think you've probably come out about 14th. We're going to find out. That is my guess. But 16 laps on the mediums, that's a good old stint. Have you put softs on? Ah, uh, no, I'm hard. I've got to stop again Why? at the end anyway, because I'm a tear up. <laughs> Mandy asked if you were just going to try and see how long it takes before your tyre pops. Which would have been a lot I'm more not fun. Lie. It went through my head. Do I want to give it a go? I've seen a few people, like, online and YouTube videos take it till it pops but I'm just not quite sure how they actually managed to keep the tyres like just keep the car on track when the tyre wear hits like 90% I mean like I said I was on 76 and I wasn't like overly struggling a couple of small kicks here and there but 
The gap to Carl coming down from Prezzo. It's now ten and a half seconds. Burnsy Baby and Ghost Rider also catching the McLaren now. I think Burnsy Baby must be burning some uh, ERS there to try and keep the Ferrari behind him. Nothing new there. I forgot what it's like to have grit. <sighs> Seems to be about the same for ERS levels. Sambal and Adams, do you fighting? Let's go watch that then. We've had a lot of the front runners because the fight's just been so close all race, but we'll watch the McLaren and the Mercedes fight. Tina's at the minute, they're definitely not fighting on tracks in as the McLaren's got the faster car. Well, there was going to be contact there between the two of them. It got pretty close. It's it's a track that kind of promotes being able to run very close to the person ahead of you, really. Oh, look, Simon, you're exactly where I said you were going to be. Oh, well done. Adamski cutting a bit of the grass there. Keeping nice and close, two tenths between him and Sambal. Line up a good DRS pass. And people just still collecting these track limits penalties. Yeah, I'm one warning away from nine seconds. You just had such a clean race. I know, I got like one warning all race in comp, and now I'm one warning away from nine seconds. Damski, must, uh, Damski is now past Sambal and uh, just over a second in front. Obviously now chasing down Spivey. Got that gap straight down to four tenths to Spivey. David's pitting again. Yep, yeah, slapping a set of softs on now to get into the end. Uh, medium. Bizarre choice, but okay. Watching the Damski kind of fight the McLaren there as he comes into the first DRS zone. Lines up the pass up the inside. And slots it past the Alpine. He's having a great stint, to be fair. Carl's having a great stint. He's now done nearly 20 laps on those hards up front. Guess who's going for the soft tyres? Uh, gonna guess Carl. I would think so, yeah. But then he also has to do his extra pit stop on the final lap anyway, so... Yes. Or is it penultimate lap? It's one of them. Penultimate lap. Lap 25. Everybody that's a reserve will have to pit. Yes. And here comes the Alpine. Trying to get round the outside of the McLaren. Nice and easy with the DRS open. Let's see what else we've got going on. We've got Mutz Nuts fighting Anton. We've got Bergen pass Flix Herty there as well. We've got Burnsy Baby who's now three tenths behind Prezzo. Absolutely flying in the Williams. Nice. The gap to Carl is now just six and a half seconds. So those uh, hard tyres are definitely dead in the Alpha Tauri. Well, fair play to Carl for taking them that far. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely a solid stint he's done. You who said it's impossible to do the hards 20 laps. According to the game, the last one of the hards is 18 laps, Simon. That's what it says. And that I is Burnsy past Prezzo before the DRS, which is definitely did not see coming. That which is... means he'll just extend the gap with his DRS. Prezzo's coming back with the DRS. Can he make a move? Nope, plays it safe. 
and the gap to Carl is now 5.7 seconds is Carl just planning a one-stop is he just trying to take those hard to lap 25 I mean possibly doing the full Alex Albon yeah just do one stop on the penultimate lap Looks like Adamski and Spivey still fighting, but Adamski keeping the place. And this fight now between Prezzo and Burns, he's helped Ghost Rider close the gap again. Definitely thought he'd be doing better with the, the fresh mediums over the hards, but the advantage just does not seem to be there. You know what? These hards at this point in the race feel absolutely lovely. Bloody lovely. Absolutely lovely. Gap to Carl's down four and a half seconds. These guys basically tearing a lap, uh, a second a lap out of Carl. Oh my gosh. Prezzo lining up another move for Bernsey Baby. I think Ghost Rider's just going to try and sit there in the DRS now and hope that these two are going to make a mistake. Anton's now going to join the pack as well. Prezzo retakes the lead of the race. For the gap to Carl now 3.8 seconds. Oh my gosh, he's absolutely bringing that down. We'll just ride on board with him now just to see if the game will show us how terrible those tyres are doing. I doubt it, but... Has we got a yellow? Are we... I'm not quite sure what that was Sam for, but... Malspun. Carl is definitely nursing that car around the track right now. The gap He's coming down. Again. Yep. Gap 2.8 oh seconds. He's definitely just going for lap 25 now. To be fair, I'm more amazed that these guys haven't caught him yet, to be fair, more than anything. He's doing well with it, to be fair. Two and a half seconds, though. I don't think it's going to be long. No, a lap or two and they'll be right there. They're on the same piece of track now, so... It looks like it'll be Burnty Baby lining up Prezzo for this lap with the DRS. Ooh! Always something with you, in though. My tyres are graining. Prezzo manages to hold on even with Burnty Baby half in the DRS, which is, it's quite impressive to be fair. It looks like he's lined up a move up the inside into the chicane. But Prezzo is holding on. Anton's made it past Ghost Rider, unfortunately. But Ghost Rider will get that place back when Ghost Rider pits at the end. When and pit to the end were people things yeah kind of just takes him out of the fight for the lead unfortunately a little bit by putting his car in the middle looks like he's also going to get into a bit of a scrap with Kiza Soze in a minute as the uh, the tire grid starts bunching back up again Adamski's pit oh Adamski's retired unfortunately Thought we were looking at safety car then, but that is in the pits. Carl still leading the race, gap down to 1.3 seconds. Oh my gosh, fair play to him for holding on like that. I'm trying to think of a, a sweating. Uh, metaphor that would be appropriate for the stream but I can't think of one off the top of my head yeah if you can't keep it clean let's not go then <laughs> <laughs> like you near a sheep is that is that good enough wow mark near some rum that one I can see like gav near a french person <laughs> Oh, gosh. 
Here we are. Flat 24, 26 now. Prezzo going to get some DRS from Carl. The gap now, 0 0.7 seconds. So this will help Prezzo a little bit as Burnsy Baby is just a tenth and a half off his rear wing, basically pushing Ooh. him down the track. Five seconds for speed in the pits for airways. We got a yellow, but I'm not quite sure what that's for. I was going to say, I was told yellow flag, but can't see anything on my mini-map. Oh! Is Carl finally going to get overtaken? <laughs> surely. Surely he's going to get overtaken now. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Here we go. Prezzo. Oh, so what? DRS open. Going past Carl to take the lead on track. And that put Carl just between Burnty Baby and Prezzo. That's not going to be a popular move there. Oh. Oh, I think something's happened here. Ghost Rider's got past Burnty Baby and Carl into the pits. Oh. That's going to be possibly reviewed there because I'm not quite sure how Ghost Pirate Riders managed to jump Burnty Baby there with Carl in the middle but the Ferrari will yeah, now be on. chasing down Prezzo the mediums versus the hard for the last two laps Prezzo just managing to pull out a DRS I think but I just heard the bleeper nope Ferrari managed to get the rear wing open even though the gap was 1.1 seconds Here we go. All of the reserves should be heading to the pits at the end of this lap. Burnsy Baby got a bit of a gap now. The gap's 1.4 seconds to Ghost Rider. I'm not quite sure if he's carrying any damage. Ghost Rider absolutely annihilated in time to Prezzo. Rear wing will be open. Will he make a move? down at the end of the straight up the inside nice and easy DRS pass Prezzo trying to fight back down to the chicane but Ghost Rider on the inside line taking the current lead of the race as we enter the final lap I'm not quite sure if I'd want to be in the lead going to the final lap with all the DRS uh, around this track, but... Yeah. Unless you've got a lot of confidence in your tyres. We will see the gap is just... I mean, they're trading places as we go through the first chicane, I think. Prezzo just eking out Ghost Rider and gets DRS as well. This game is uh, doing some funky stuff here. <laughs> But I think this will play into Ghost Rider's hands because he will get the next DRS straight and that is the one that counts to be fair. The gap back to Burnsy Baby now 1.3 seconds. He's under attack from Mutznuts in the Aston Martin. Ghost Rider lining up this move now. Two tenths if we come through Maggots and Beckett's. Airways with a 29.1 for a fastest lap. DRS open on the Ferrari. Here we go. Prezzo's already flashing before we even get halfway down the straight. Ghost Rider around the outside, sweeping through the corner and takes the lead. And unless something goes drastically wrong, I imagine he is taking the win here. Ah, it's Prezzo's just spun. Oh no! And then picked up a three second penalty. Ghost Rider takes the win. Burnsy Baby and Mutznuts coming together just before they cross the line. Mutznuts takes second. Prezzo takes third. Burnsy Baby takes fourth. Not quite sure what happened there in those final few corners. It could be one for the stewards, I think. Flix Hurty takes fourth away from Burnsy Baby. I imagine because of penalties. Burnsy Baby down to fifth. Spivey takes sixth. Sambal will be taking seventh. Kaiser Soze kind of in the way there. I'm guessing he 
did not pit, so we probably will be getting disqualified. Samuel takes seventh. Kaiser Soze takes eighth. Winthy Winky coming back to take ninth, which will be eighth after Kaiser is removed. Ninth for the Ferrari. David coming back to take tenth. It looks with outer front wing as well, which is very impressive. Coming through that final sector with no front wing. Tenth in the Haas. Carl coming. Oh, Carl jumps people. Takes tenth on track. Rushes David down to eleventh. Bergen takes twelfth. Chaos Druids. I've managed to leave him alone all race. And there's a big old clatter between Jamer and Chaos Druid just before they cross the line. Chaos Druid keeps 13th. Jamer takes 14th. Ukit jumped on penalties and I missed the final five. I did the mature higher tier thing and let everyone through. I think there will be a few people getting removed here. Kaiser Sose with driver of the day. I mean, he had a great race, to be fair, but uh, obviously we don't give it to high tier drivers. There's Ghost Rider taking the win there. Really well deserved after the uh, the race he put together there. It was really unfortunate what happened to Prezzo at the end there. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but he was on for a solid second place. Yeah, no, that's that was a great final stint from Ghost Rider, to be fair. And also uh, a Ferrari on the top step for both compound sports here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Go, the Italian Stallions. So we'll run down the order again. We have Ghost Rider taking the win. Mutz Nuts and Prezzo rounding out the top three. We've got Flix Herty and Bernty Baby in fourth and fifth. Spivey sixth. Sambal seventh. Kaiser Sose will be getting removed, but is currently in eighth. Uh, Winky ninth, Carl took tenth, which probably will also be getting removed. Uh, David eleventh, Bergen twelfth, Chaos Drew with thirteenth, Jamo fourteenth, Anton fifteenth, Smoggy goes sixteenth, Baby Hornet in seventeenth, Airways in eighteenth, Shave Rem in nineteenth, and Adamski in twentieth. Yeah, what a race, to be fair. I mean, I've got to give it to those top five. I'm not even quite sure I could pick a driver of the day because they all put an absolute fantastic shift in there. Yeah. Yeah, no, fair play to them. I saw a lot of very clean driving on track today. Yeah, no safety cars as well. We had the one virtual, obviously, but... Uh, yeah. No safety car. Definitely a great race. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was a that was a good race. I mean, I was had a very quiet race, but sometimes that's for the best. Yeah, I mean, as long as you have like a nice quiet uh, race, everybody usually enjoys themselves. But the top five just couldn't leave each other alone that race, which uh, definitely made for an exciting that's fight. That's always good to watch. Yeah. But that is it for us tonight on the MRC channel. Uh, we will be back Friday with MRCX in China. So that's goodbye from me. Bye.